Aloha, everyone. It has been a devastating, heartbreaking week here in Hawaii, as you know. I'm meteorologist Jennifer Robbins. A lot of people still processing what's happening on Maui and the aftermath after those ferocious fires that came through. And it was all fueled by Hurricane Dora passing south of the islands and also a large area of high pressure. And the pressure difference between the two created those really strong winds over the islands. Taking a closer look at the journey that Dora took, a long Pacific voyage, and it's one for the history books. It started off the coast of Mexico, and you can see that dotted line there. That's how far the system has traveled. In fact, 10,000 miles. It remains as a hurricane as it crosses over from the Central Pacific, now entering the Western Pacific, past the international date line. And one other time this has happened, Hurricane John in 1994, that was the longest lasting tropical cyclone before this event. And it's incredible how far these tropical cyclones could travel. So once it reaches the international date line, it becomes a typhoon. That's the name it's given on that side of the globe over the Western Pacific. But now a hurricane still, Category 2 strength, in fact, it was Category 4 for quite some time. That area of high pressure that was due north of the islands, now that's backing away. That's over the western end as well. And also Dora continues to pull farther and farther to the west. So we're not seeing as windy conditions as we had in the weekend. But this is what happened over our first alert weather day when all the ingredients came together. That area of high pressure, the circulation around it is clockwise and then counterclockwise with Dora. So those opposite circulations or those converging winds come together. It was right over the islands. As that happened, that's when that funnel of strong, ferocious winds came through, fueling those fires unfortunately we saw east winds about 20 to 30 gusts up to 60 miles per hour over Lahaina it was steady there and we did see over the West Maui Mountains gust even higher than that reported so incredible to see the opposing factors there of that area of high pressure in Dora and we will continue to see that pull away over the western Pacific now back to a typical trade wind pattern for us into the next couple of days we're tracking what you see there in red south of the islands, maybe another potential tropical cyclone, but it looks like a weak one. It'll be passing to the south and it doesn't look like it's going to impact us, but we'll have to watch these from start to finish, as you know, because a lot can change. There's a lot of uncertainty with these kind of systems. And then notice it is going to be fizzling out, but the winds could be a little bit stronger Wednesday into Thursday of next week. So we'll definitely be watching that. Eastern Pacific, very, very active. We have another hurricane in the works there. That one may be impacting places like Cabo, but with El Nino strengthening, we'll be having to watch this area very carefully because that's where many of our tropical cyclones are born that strengthen. And with El Nino this year, it's strengthening due to those warmer sea surface temperatures. And like we're talking about for the past months, August is a very active month into September, and we could see more tropical cyclones. But our heart is broken for Maui. We continue to see these images pour in. So do what you can. Hug your loved ones. Donate if you can, please. So wishing you blue skies and much aloha, and take care of one another.